Well, good evening, everybody. We welcome to our socially distant Christmas spectacular. I'm glad you all could join us on this very rainy night this evening. Uh, and I'm glad that you are able to be here. Please make sure before we begin that you have your music book and a candle. And we do have both battery operated and uh, real fire candles for those that are comfortable around open flames. So uh, make sure you grab those before we get started. <clears throat> and uh, I want to thank Claire for playing the piano for us. Beautiful prelude music. Thank you, Claire. It's wonderful as all that. So we welcome you here with us. <clears throat> Let us open with a word of prayer and we begin our service of worship this evening. Father, I thank you as always for this service of worship that we are able to have this evening. Lord, this is merely a small glimpse of what we can await in the glory of you. Father, even now, many of our loved ones are there. And I thank you for the hope that that is ours in Jesus Christ, that this is the beginning of our Easter story. This day that we celebrate the birth of Christ, the fulfillment of your promises. Be with us now, Lord, and fill this place with your glory. Guide us as we worship your holy name. We send you pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's begin. Since from it you were taken. For dust you are, 
and to dust you will return. Adam named his wife Eve, because she would become the mother of all the living. Because of the sinful choices of Adam and Eve, the once perfect union between God and man was broken. The Garden of Eden was taken from us, and a great divide separated us from God. Was this damage irreversible? Was there a way to return to God? Or had his paradise been lost forever? Let us look now at Lesson 2. A promised child. Our scripture comes from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice in dividing the plunder. For as in the day of Bidian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. And so, at the beginning of our service here, we are reminded as we light these four candles, those who are walking in darkness have seen a great light. Today especially, the rain pouring down around us has been an exceptionally dark day. But we have the light of Christ. In the midst of an exile, God speaks to his people. In the midst of a struggle, God gives a promise of peace. In the midst of chaos, God promises order. In the midst of darkness, God promises light. And how great is that light? God promises a child that will deliver his people. Let us sing together, Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. <laughs> Verses 
26 through 38. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel? Since I am a virgin, the angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who is said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel after hundreds of years of waiting, the time had finally come. The child was to be born in Bethlehem, as prophesied by Micah. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who rules over Israel, whose origins are from old, from ancient times. Mary had spoken few words, but they testified to her great faith. May we all be so faithful. Let us say now, a little town of Bethlehem.
now we come to our fourth lesson that came to pass. I'm sure that many of you can probably recite this from memory. This is the Christmas story taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governing in Syria. So all went to be registered, every one to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, and to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was the child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds, living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe of wrapped in swaddling cloth, lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven. But the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had seen and heard, as it was told them. We're going to sing Angels We Have Heard On High, verses 1 and 3. If you turn the page, you'll sing Hark a Herald Angels Sing. We will sing all three verses. But before we do that... It is at this moment I have the pleasure of lighting the Christ candle. This candle. We have been waiting for five weeks now to light. It is white because it is pure. Just as God's promises are pure. And just as he promised long ago from Genesis chapter 1. God brought forth his son. Let us sing. Again, the angels we have heard on high, verses 1 and 3.
now we come to our fifth lesson. The star in the east. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. At Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, and the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way. The star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they return to their country by another route. At this time, Mindy is going to come. She's going to sing O Holy Night.
now we come to our sixth and final lesson. The light of the world. Our reading is taken from John chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, and nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness of the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning him. He cried out, saying, This is the one I spoke about when I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Out of his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace already given. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God but the one and only Son, who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the Father, has made him known.
you received that light. If there's anyone in the gym uh, watching the service, you can come down. We'll have someone in the back there uh, with a lit candle. You can light that and take it back to the gym if you would like to. Uh, just a word of instruction. Once your candle is lit, please hold it upright at all times. Don't turn your candle to light someone else's candle. Uh, our custodian is here in the room tonight, and she might slap you if you get wax all over the chair. So the lit candle stays upright, all right? So when you light your candle, tip the unlit candle into the lit candle. If you have a battery-operated candle, there's a little switch on the very bottom. You can flip that on. I'm going to ask DJ and JJ if they would come and pass the lights down for us. Incident notification, E911 page, CFS, 20201224104, MSG, flood, threatening utilities basement flooding, Athens TWP, 2115 Front Street, Athens Township FD, 20240216. Thank you. 